Hi guys, welcome to Friggin' Cheap. Well, you've heard of roadside logging. This is in the road logging. Not much going on today because of the rain yesterday. I did get the th those two brackets. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, they got a tickle in my throat. <coughs> Anyhow, I had doctor's appointments today. It's probably quarter to five now. Come home and saw this tree in the road. Actually, it was there when I left, and I said, huh, we can't leave this thing here. So this is, <coughs> excuse me, in the road logging. So I'm going to cut it, cut it about here and uh, get all this crap out of the road. Let me see what's over here. Yeah, I might pick that up. That might have, uh, yeah, that might have some junk in it worth sawing. It's pretty rotted. That's good firewood there. So I, yeah, I'll probably flip around and get that too. But we'll get this out of the road. This is in the road logging. So I'll let you uh, turn your volume down. I'll put it. I'll tell you what. This will be a little bit better. I'm hoping. I just grabbed the chainsaw on a chain and headed out. That kind of work work what I wanted to do. I put that piece up there so it pulled away instead of go down. 
I'll bring it back when I got the boom around. So stay tuned in a minute or two, we'll be right back. All right, well I got it hooked up. I'm gonna try to drag it back and set it on a four by four so I can balance it out, pick it up and set it down. So I told you I'd bring you back. I don't know how exciting it's gonna be, but. a better bird's eye view. Sometimes it don't always work out the way you want it to. It got a little heavy on that one side. Probably the easiest to just go pick it up. I jammed it in the front up there. That don't look too bad. Move it over a little bit. Make sure there's no cars coming. Oh, it's sitting on a. I got a 4x4 four four over there it's sitting on. Well, that'd be alright. Then I can get it off easier. 
probably should have put them down. I grabbed everything real quick and I didn't put them down. swing around and grab that one and I'll bring you back in a minute or two stay tuned for more well here we are here hi welcome back here we are getting the second half of that I'm gonna kind of put you I think right about there looks like you might get the whole shebang Pretty junk wood, pretty junk wood. You can see that thing's almost all rot, but even rot will burn, but it just takes forever to dry. It takes longer to dry that rot, I think, than it does the regular wood. I'm gonna take and uh, unhook it, flip around and get those, so I'll bring you back when I get those. Get this little latch undone. I'm gonna even leave the boom, I think I'll even leave the boom up. But I gotta put the camera away or somebody will walk off with it, put the chainsaw all away. And uh, flip around. So, we'll be back in a little while. Well, I'm gonna clean up the street. I didn't bring a broom, didn't think about that. I don't want anybody to drive in that mess. See you back in a few minutes. Coming at you, ain't we? All right, let's see what we got here. See if I can work this with one hand. First, we're going to bring it in, get it close. Then we're going to start swinging it. Always wanted to be a swinger. Here's your chance. Uh-oh, got to move the tripod. We've got a broken leg on that one. Uh, it's going to hit. Uh, once it hits, it'll start going back around. 
We're gonna go around a little more. Then we'll start going up with it. Not doing too good a job. I'm watching the controls. <laughs> Gotta watch out when it starts swinging like that. I'm gonna start moving it over because the front's gonna swing around this way, hopefully. Now we're gonna start letting her down. Oh, didn't quite get in time, did I? Oh, pretty balanced though. Oh, I put a, there's one of my logs there. I put that, I put that over there so when I moved it wouldn't roll. Now what I'm gonna do is, is curl so it brings it closer to the front. Now I'm gonna raise, normally I do this with two hands. Do both, both motions at one time. Oh, illegal 4x4 with a car chasing them. But see, that gets it, that gets it pretty close to the front. If I curl a little more, Ah, that's good enough. Now I gotta climb up there. I unhooked that one. You can go to a gym for this exercise. I don't know if this will come out or not. Probably not. Maybe it's just gonna run all of this. Oh, it won't. Let's see what we got here. If I pull slow and go that way, it might not. See how it wants to roll? Once it gets to that hook, they really like to roll. Ah, not too bad. All right, now we're swinging on back over. We're gonna get that one, that beast right there. Trying to work two things at one time. I'm gonna put you up here for a minute. I hope it doesn't take too long to get that. swinging around. Gotta put you here, you guys will be a little bit of an angle. Hope you don't fall over. I think I need to push that over a little further. See 
the deer going? Oh, I guess you guys didn't miss it. See the deer going across the road down there? All right, let's start pulling this stick in. Now let's start curling it. Got to watch out for a truck. I think I got to bounce it. another one around the corner to get so if I curl that top that top one in it should bring it forward but I wanted more forward so I'll re whoops wrong way Jose move it over a little further uh, I messed up but as I pull it forward Oh man, I gotta get my hand. I can't. I'm grabbing the wrong handle. Normally it doesn't take this long. I gotta go move it again. I screwed up to begin with. I'm going to use two hands. hook it and then we'll meet you down at the next chunk of wood bye bye told you we had another one around the corner that's right long that's probably over 30 foot long because the truck bed is 15 it's twice that I don't care about carrying a long one I only live over top that hill right there look at the oak tree here they're all dying around here look at the limb that broke off like I said there's a pretty good storm here somebody pushed this one off the road so I think, I think for ease of picking it up, I'm going to uh, chain it, pick it up, saw it, and get another piece off of it. Even, even this piece down here, that's uh, at the end is six inches long. The oak tree that I want is over there. There's a big white oak over there that's dead that I've already got permission to get it. I just don't have the time. By the time I get to it, It'll probably be rotted beyond hope. That tree there, that's nothing but garbage. So anyhow, I'll bring you back in a little bit when I got something a little further along, more exciting to pick up and throw it on the truck. So um, I didn't even I didn't even tie those down. Like I said, I'm less than a mile from the house, and it's all I've only had two cars I think go by me. So we'll be back in a little bit, guys. Stay tuned. Well, hi guys, <clears throat> you still hanging in there with me? <clears throat> Still got a tickle in my throat. Got to stop eating frogs, I guess. That'd be a good one for the sawmill, wouldn't you? That's a, uh, a ZZ log. SS log. Anyhow, no, it's not going on a sawmill, but that one's, that one's a lot more solid than all that put together. So I think I'll put you right about here, and we'll see if we can't flip that over onto that thing there.
to catch that other one on the ground. That's going to be kind of a, a bear to pick up, but I'll tell you what I did. I don't think you can see it, but I put a chain on it before it went down. So I got to pick it up, move it up, put a piece under it, uh, level it out, and then I'm just throwing it on top. So that's what we're about ready to do. You only got a couple minutes in on it. We'll take you along. Uh, I wonder if this one got hit by lightning. That, the tree doesn't show it though. I'll bring you back when uh I hope you saw that. I'll bring you back. I'm gonna lay it down, level it out. I'll bring you back when we're putting her on the truck. So I'll be back in a couple minutes. Well, here we are. This is gonna be this was unbelievable. That was my first hookup on that. And I caught it just right. I can't believe that. So we're just gonna take out over and throw it up on the pile and head home. hours worth of heat in it all right if I had my clock on me I'd tell you whew, kind of wore out anyhow this will probably be all you get tonight because it's still muddy down at the wood yard and the wife wants to go to the local fireman's carnival they're playing her kind of music tonight so we're gonna go into town and watch that and I'm not bringing you along for that I'll stop by, I'll, I'll do another minute when we get home to show you that I made it home. Like I said, if you are going up over that hill, Mac, you know where you're at. See the top of the hill up there at the top of the hill? It's right at the top. That's where you want to go to. We well, go about this far down the other side and that's where my house is. So I'm not even tying these things down. I'm closing the camera, pulling the legs on the thing and heading up the road.
So, do me a favor, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and most important, send it to a friend. Because you're liable to see anything here. This this wood just happened to come, so I had to come come get it. I couldn't let it go. This is true in the wood or in the road logging, not roadside logging. So send this to Don Scheib. Everybody send it to Don Scheib outside with Scheib so you can see what real in the road logging is all about. See ya. Bye bye. This is my real last. You know I do this every time. This is a dead oak with poison ivy. That might not be poison ivy there, but I know it's got it. Do you think there's any nails in this? This thing is so peppered with no trespassing, lost dog. Got hypoxylin, hypoxylin canker on it right there. So that's what killed it right there. Anyhow, this is the real last movie. I, no, because I'm going to show you when I get home. Bye.